Okay, here we go. So B3 played. Uh, do I have sounds on? Let me make sure. Do I have sounds on? No, I don't. Okay. Let's see. Seems like a reasonable move. I don't know if it's best. This looks like a very flat position. It feels like a very dry kind of opening. Yeah. This looks very dry. Hard to create an imbalance here either. I mean, he can maybe play h4, but that allows bishop c7. Yeah, he goes e I mean, yeah, this is a very dry position. Why am I playing in this? I am playing in this. What do you mean, why am I not playing this? I am. He goes d4. I'm tempted to actually go after him here at h5. I mean, I have d5, which very... I mean, again, we can both castle, too, like... Okay, he takes with a pawn. That's that's actually kind of dubious, I think. It feels dubious. Like, I can get some very nasty bishop f4 move in here. Goes d5. I thought I had bishop f4 here. Oh, did I just blunder knight h5? I think I did. Although, wait, I can actually castle. Can I castle here? Wait a second. I could. I could also just play like... Can I castle here is a big question. I'm going to do it. Let's castle. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can castle. I don't know if it's good, by the way, but it's it's too meme to not play. It's too of a, much of a meme to not go for it. Here's g3, so I'll just go back here. c5, I just, I mean, a very complicated position. I don't really know what's going on here exactly. Knight d4, king b8. It goes queen b2. I can play f5. I'm going to play knight d5 and probably just solidify it into a draw maybe. I don't really want to make a draw here, but it's 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 a very messy position. Okay, it goes bishop b2. I can obviously, wait, wait, wait a second. If I take... But this looks wrong. He takes with check and I go king b8. I mean, his diagonal is opening up here. Um, so I take. He's misplayed this. I think I'm better here. I don't know how much better, but I'm, I should be better here. Let's go h5 and h4. G4, I've got h3. I also have f5 here. I think I'm doing well. Okay, let's see. Now, do I go f5 or f6? I have b5 at a right moment, too. I think I'm just going to go f5. Just attack. Now, I can take... I think rook e better first. I can always take on g3 when I want to. Thank you so much, ice420, for the 13 months. Thank you so much. Okay, he plays rook e2. I mean, again, I have f4 even. Okay, let's take. Maybe queen h6 and d6 makes sense too. I mean, it looks very bad for white. He takes with the age pawn. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's got to be wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Queen h6 take. I'm way up on the clock, so there's not any huge rush here. So I need to just relax. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. Check and check. I, I don't understand why this isn't just winning. It's Yeah. Or not, sorry, I'm not way up on the clock. Yeah, but I mean what I mean is I have I have enough time where I can use all my time here to think. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I mean hard to believe this isn't mate. I have E4. I mean it's just check mate, I think. Yeah, it's just GG, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, 
He's got no time. I told you guys I was way up on time. I told you guys I was way up on time. I was. Thank you to Salty Clorox for the Prime. Thank you so much to Salty Clorox. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to play Alexander Kosteniuk here. Actually, I think G5 is kind of forced. I need to create space here. Don't like knight g6, so I think I'm going to go c6 and d5. Try to hit the pawn. Let's go here. Target the juicer. H3 is a good move. I guess I'll go H6. I don't love H6 as a move, but I think I kind of have to play it just to support G5. I mean, probably I'm going to go... Okay, I'll, I'll go with this way with the knight, and I'm going to go this way with my other knight, basically. Just to stop C4 and stop E4, basically. Control all the jumps. Like, B3 looks wrong. Okay, let's just, go, let's just go after her with F5 here. Try to open up the position here. C4 is a good move, although is it? Wait, I've got rook f8. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Uh, it doesn't make any difference. A win is a win, a loss is a loss. Okay, let's see. She goes e4, which looks... Absolutely insane. That's insane. Okay, E takes D5, so I guess I just take. St. Louis played it last year. Yeah, there was 960. I just take and take the... Just take the rook. There's a check, but it doesn't do anything. I just run the king up. Definitely need to develop the bishop here at some point. Okay, 94, so I think I can just, like, develop here. She wants d6. I need to be a little bit careful how I do this. But I, I don't believe it, because I can just take and move the king up. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just go here and... Wait, did I just blunder? She's got C... Oh, I might have just made a big blunder. No, I'm lucky. I have king d7. I almost just blundered the game here. Queen of A was a little bit too much. But I'm still going to win. We're going to play Tiger V-Shape. We're going to play God Akamsky here. Let's see. I can play B6 maybe. Um, I really don't like symmetrical openings, but the problem is I kind of have... I mean, I guess I could have gone E5 maybe for the non-symmetrical approach. I don't, it's so symmetrical. It's frustrating. Okay, I'm going to try to do something that's not symmetrical. I'm going to go D5 here. Oh, I think that might be a mistake. Okay, let's go here. That might be a mistake. He does have d4, but I mean, I can always trade, maybe. My bishop is kind of bad on, on um, a8. Plays queen d1. Strange move by God, actually. Very strange move. Because now I think he gives me just enough time to start bringing my pieces into the game. Because now on d4, he gives me this. There's this very pesky knight h4. Could have gone knight h4 too, I guess. But now, if 
First of all, I have knight h4. Second, I can just trade. But I mean, this is headed for a very dry position, unfortunately. Takes the queen. That's very surprising. I think that's a big mistake by Goddard. Maybe big mistake is too strong of a word to say, but I feel like they're problems somehow for white now. Let's think about this. D4 allows knight b5. There should be something that I have here. I can also just move my queen even. I'm going to move my queen. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to do it because I have knight e5 here. It's queen a4. Again, it feels like he's doing too many random moves. Wait, I have knight h4. Wait a second. Knight h4, he just wants to take. Knight h4, d5, c3. Knight h4 looks like a good move. Let me think for a second here. I have enough time, so this is why I can think here. This is a very critical moment in the game. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's see. Because if he takes, I just take. Takes. Doesn't work. Okay, if I go d4, there's bishop a8. If I take knight f3, d4 is a move. He's one move away, so let's go here, hit the queen, protect, and I'm going to go d4 next move and takes. Very, very com complex. I mean, because either I'm winning or I'm not winning, basically. And the answer might be that I'm not winning. Wait, I've got rookie seven? Can also just castle, even. So if I take and castle, he castles. This is so complicated. Um... It's extremely complicated. I mean, because he can't take with the bishop, then I take this. I mean, he takes, I take with a pawn. It's extremely complicated. Takes with a pawn. So I guess I take... I have f5 maybe? I think I just go f5. And he moves the knight, he loses the knight. Yeah, now I just win. And he doesn't have knight g5, so I can just take. Okay, we get the dub. Sad case of the hanging knight, yeah. Okay. Okay, 2605. I don't know if F4 is right, but it looks interesting. Uh, let's just go E4. I'm actually not really thinking here. Just kind of. Okay, now normally what you want to do is you want to take the big center if you can, as Bishop is kind of walled. So my instinct tells me that I should be much better here if I play this correctly. Um, how do I play this correctly, though? A big... I really don't want to go d4, but I will. Okay, so he's trying to play some sort of hyper-modern setup. So I'm going to bring the knight out early. Um, probably go c3 in a move or two. Okay, that's not a great move by him. Okay, I'll go a4, because his bishops are very bad here. My bishops are not great, but they're also not terrible. I also have knight b3. Okay, it goes to h5, which I also don't like. I feel like he's trying too hard to create um, an imbalance here. Let's go here. I can always castle the king side if I want to. I think, yeah, I might as well. 
So I can always go over here, and I think I'm doing very well, objectively. His bishop is still very bad on g7. Does b4. Okay, so I take... I can play b3 and knight b3. Both moves make sense, but I'm going to play b3. Let's go rook c1, hit the pawn. I'm going to rotate my queen, move the rook over, target the pawn again. Oh, I just blundered. No, knight b5 I can take. Let's go here, target the pawn again. I think long term this should be winning. I can just start to unwind it. H3, maybe G4. I'm going to go here, maybe Queen G1 at the right moment. Maybe Knight C5. Can't really line up the legendary triple. That's the only problem I have here. Let's just go back. Tricky position, hard to play. Can't line up a triple stack. That's the problem. Now I can obviously... Actually, I think I should take and go here. His bishops are very bad, objectively. Back no more, no more, no more, no more. Or hit the road, Jack. I think I have e6 and check. Okay, we get the win, four up, four down. Winner gets $500, so uh, it's $500 first prize. Hit the road, Jack. Okay, let's, um, okay, what are we gonna do? Let's play uh, E4. I suspect it's not a good move, so I close the diagonal early. It goes there. I can play G3, I guess. Maybe B3 as well. I actually realized he just gave me a check, though, which I might as well take advantage of. Goes Rook D7. Now, that's not a move I was expecting. Okay, let's uh, let's take and go Knight D3, I guess. Hit the, hit the bishop here. Knight F6. Oh, he can actually castle next move. That's what his idea is. Oh, I missed that idea. I guess I'll just go here. An idea is to play f4 and trap the bishop. Because now he no longer has a d4 square. I assume this just wins, but maybe I'm missing something. Okay, goes g4. I think I just go here. Just takes. Should be pretty good. I mean, obviously I can castle. I mean, I think I just go here and castle queenside. Go here, hit the pawn on e5. You can obviously take with a knight. Is that a good move or a bad move? It looks winning, um, but there's no need for it. Let's just be conservative with bishop b2. Who's got thread thread ripper? Who? Me or my opponent? What are you guys talking about?
Okay, I just take and take with the knight and the GGs. Yeah, okay, but I, I, that's not actually true because I'm, I'm at TSM. I'm not using my uh, home computer. Okay, we've won five in a row. We just keep rolling. Your PC has a Threadripper, which is overkill. I mean, yes, but that's life. You got you, you only use the best. Um, I don't know if this is right. Let's do it. C6. I mean, I'm going to play... Let's be careful how I do this. I'm going to go E4. I know it's not the right move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Oh, he plays E5, which I thought was maybe wrong. Let's go F4. Because S6. Now, the funny thing is I can play F5 here. I can also just start to develop, though. I can also play D4. Actually, you know what? Let's try to play this like classical chess, like classical principles. Just develop in the center of the board. Take the center if you can. I got to render the chessboard faster than my opponents. Yes, exactly. Because G6. That's actually, I think that's a pretty good move. Um, but I'm going to go here to put more pressure. Probably he trades. Maybe not. But this actually looks quite bad for black somehow. This D6. Somehow this looks really, really poor for black. I don't know why, but it just it just does. Okay, let's just keep developing. I mean, this looks... I, I misplayed this, I guess. Yeah, I misplayed this. I let him off the hook. This should have been should have been probably winning for me. I suspect this was winning, but I misplayed it. I'm gonna go over something very weird. I'm gonna play a4 and just try to attack. Like a5, a6, maybe. I could have also played b3, knight b5 there. Knight B4, maybe? Okay, I mean, this this looks very dangerous to me. But maybe it's okay. I'm just going to go here, maybe Knight A2. And Queen A5, I guess? Yeah, I'm going to go here and Queen A5. This is my idea. Like, Queen A5 and Knight B4. His bishop is still very bad on h8, but the thing is, if he, open, if he opens up a diagonal, my bishop gains activity first. So I have the double op aim, aiming much more closely towards his king here. Okay, it does go knight b8. I can obviously take. I'm just going to go here anyway and go for knight b4. Queen seven. Okay, so now if I take, he has to take with the F pawn. So I guess I'll just go here anyway. I mean, this looks so bad. Like, takes and... So he just gambits a pawn. Logical idea, actually. I, li I like the concept from God I hear. Or I thought I did. Although, I mean, I still think this is just bad for him. I keep queens on the board, obviously, because there's a lot of pressure here. Okay, um, I can play bishop g2. I can also go here and here. I mean, g2 seems like the right square. I, I don't know. Maybe f3, e2 is better, but g2 seems right. Okay, I see his idea. He wants bishop h6. If I take, take... Well, let's just go for it. I don't understand. You can trade and I can trade. But I have knight c5. This is what I'm banking on. Actually, if he takes, I take because I, I lined this up too. Oh, did I miss this? Can be one knight c4. Queen c3. I don't see it. I just take with the bishop. He's also got like no time here either. 
Thank you to Mauro for the three months. Thank you so much to Mauro. Pawn. Okay, I mean, I it's actually kind of tricky. Okay, let's just go here. Now I have knight c5. Okay, queen b5. Logical move. I can't move my knight to b2. I can move my knight to b4, maybe. I also just go queen b4, but then rook d3. Let's go here. Plays a5. I thought I, ha I should have something on that. Maybe knight c5? Go here. Oh, I just blundered again. Oh my god. I just blundered. Oh my gosh, I've got no time either. Yeah, I'm not going to try to flag him. I probably could. Should I try to flag him? Fine, let's try to flag him. Ah, he has it. <laughs> oh, I blundered it. Yeah, I threw it. Yeah. I tried to flag him for you guys. Yeah. I missed, I missed queen d2. He found it. I could have made the draw with king b1, but he found it. Yeah. I tried, you guys. I tried. I tried for the points, but you know what? I, I guess the thing is I kind of, um, I messed that up a little bit earlier anyway. But yeah. Tried for you guys. Inting? Yeah, but the thing is there was a bet on the line, wasn't there? Um, there, there was a bet on the line, so why not? I didn't, I didn't see, I didn't see queen d2. I, I only saw queen c1, queen a3, or I wouldn't have done it. Um, but again, not a big deal. R remember again, the only thing that matters is top 16. It only matters for the points. Um, but yeah, I tried for you guys the, uh, wait, I tried for you guys the, uh, the believers. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. All right. Um, I can play queen h4. I should have won that game earlier. I really misplayed that. Yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see queen d2. That was the problem. I only saw queen c1, queen a3, so I thought I was still within the range where I couldn't lose. That was the problem. I'm going to go here. Although I, I kind of need to slow it down a little. Actually, not slow it down. I need to kind of just like play good moves here. Who's former prodigy? Is this Navara? My freaking points I'm not believing anymore. Sorry, dude. I tried. Let's go here. I could have taken the draw, which would have been good for the... Uh, I, I please don't try to flag Gata. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go f5. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm actually playing this game pretty badly. Maybe. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I'm maybe I'm kind of over overestimating my opponent's position. But b5, okay, I better just trade queens. Just get out get out of here before it gets too disastrous. Will I qualify? Almost certainly. Uh, we're only 30 minutes in and we're gonna be up to 19 after this this game. Most likely. Assuming I don't throw it. Um, let's just go here. Don't turn believers into doubters. True. Yeah, I mean, I, I objectively I should have made the draw because, but I just I didn't see the I didn't see that um. I just didn't see that trick. I just missed that trick. Okay, I can just castle. But I want to win this game fast. I need to move quicker. Virtual points, yeah. Okay, I guess let's take. I need to speed up a little bit. Okay. I don't have a good position this game, though. Uh, Rook G1? Maybe. Um, let's go here. Hit the bishop on G7. So many viewers on chess room. Yeah, chess is popping off, you guys. It's been popping off for a long time. It's been popping off since... Uh, what am I doing? It's been popping off since uh, April 2020. Chess was established in April 2020 by uh, XQC. Wait, I just realized, I thought I had a bishop on h2. This is a king on h2. What am I doing? Oh, I just looked. I thought I had a bishop on h2. I'm losing. I'm actually like, I'm actually losing my mind. Let's go here. I thought this was a bishop t attack in the night. I'm lucky I'm not losing, actually. Uh, it's very bad. I thought this was a bishop here, not a king. That was bad. 
Is there some way to turn channel points into real money? I'm sorry, good sir, but there is no, there's no way to do that. Tough luck. This guy is playing very well. Um, let's go here. I still will win on time at the very minimum, but let's go here and Bishop B4, I guess. But yeah, there's no way to turn channel points into real money, you guys. I'll trade you all my channel points for one Bitcoin. Yeah. Let's go here. Did I just blunder again? I think I did. This guy's playing exceptionally well. It's 93. What's going on? This guy is playing really, really well. Oh, he's not. That's because he's not 2049, actually. That's why. I didn't even notice he's, he's an FM. He just hasn't played much. That's all. I I, I got to remember that, actually. The ratings aren't legit. I need to remember that, because that, that could be a problem later on if I'm not careful. Like, if I forget that someone's, like, 2040, but in reality, they're, like, 2400, because they, they just haven't played 960. Okay. Keep going. We're going to play Mr. Hess here. We're on 19, so let's go C5. I don't know if D5 is right. I actually need to focus a little bit. Not, but it's so hard. To, these are just not in balance at all. It's not getting these imbalanced positions. I'm going to go for this. I know it's not right, but I'm going to go for it. It's just not in balance at all. Oh, uh, that's a mistake, I think. Maybe not a mistake, but... Oh, actually, no, it is a mistake, because I have Bishop F4 to win win material. Okay, we're going to win this game. All right, you guys, I don't know why, but I need to use Rush Room again. I'm, like, running to Rush Room every five seconds today. Um... So as soon as he resigns, I'm going to run to the restroom. Oh, he doesn't resign. He goes queen there. I do have bishop c4 here, maybe. I can also just drop back. Why not? Let's just drop back. He mixed up pieces and thought one of them was a knight. Yeah, okay. Uh, obviously, I mean, okay, let's just take, 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 and take. Oh, but I blundered 96 now. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, I just blundered right back. Just when I thought I had this game wrapped up. Ugh. Oh, that's very frustrating. Just when I thought I had this wrapped up. I was just about ready to run to the restroom and be and be happy. And now it's like now it's gonna be require a ton of work. Just flub this up. Oh. Yeah, I was I was literally ready to just Get up and go to the restroom. It's, I thought I could just take and win the game. And now I'm going to have to grind. I think it's Scott Ford for 27 months. Thank you so much. It's even material, but yeah. Okay, let's see. I think I bring this knight in probably. So I can always just trade. I have four, so I take, I go here. I have knight g6, I also have knight f5. He goes rook c1, that's actually a good move. Let's go here, knight g4, knight f5. He goes bishop b2. Now I go rook d7, I have knight g6 at least. It's not wonderful, but it shouldn't be terrible either. It goes 95. Interesting choice. 
Go back. Let's go here. Put the knight in the center. This is just going to be a draw, probably, but I'll try to win it. Thing though is, this is actually getting a little bit tricky for white. Like, there's still a draw with correct play, but it's getting a little bit tricky now. With f3, I can put the pawn on h5 maybe. I don't know if it's right, but it seems reasonable. So I also have a check here on c3. So let's go. Let's go here. And maybe check. I just blundered though, of course. Just blundered completely. Go, I guess check and rook here. Oh, he's got this. Okay, go here. I mean, the thing is, it draws okay, but I'm gonna try to win this for some unknown reason. He's got no time, so I'm gonna try. It's probably wrong, though, objectively. Okay, that's a mistake, I think. Okay, let's just go here and here. That was also a mistake. I gave him this. What am I doing? I'm trying to flag him really hard here. Check and now we take. Check and now we take. I, I'm gonna flag him at least. Yeah, we got the win. I gotta run the rush. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, we're back. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, knight b3. Okay, what do we have? Oh, I, I don't know if this is right. I actually blundered. He had bishop e4, b7, which was just winning material. Okay. Um, let's go here and hit the pawn. Okay, I guess I just... I can drop back, maybe. It's unclear. I'm going to take, though. Just take. Let's go. Play 96. I don't know if it's the right move, but it seems reasonable, at least. I don't like my position here, but I think it's okay. okay let's go here to hit the pawn on c4. Let's go d6. Consolidate my pawns. I really don't like my position in this game. I feel like I've played this very bad. I'm going to try to castle king's side. Um, how do I do that? Let's go here. Maybe bishop e6. Yeah, let's try to trade some knights or some bishops and get my king out of here. I need a call up for the gifted sub. Thanks so much to call up. Okay, now I think I'm okay. Yeah, because I can go here. If he takes, I just take and walk away. Okay, so he castles, so I castle. Yeah, now I'm fine. I'm not I'm not better or anything, but I shouldn't shouldn't be worse either. Let's go here. I have knight c7 and d5 at the right moment as well. Do I take or do I play knight c7 first? I think I just take. I have queen h6 also here. Let's go here. Now I have knight c7 and d5 as well. How's my mom doing? She's doing well. My, my family's doing pretty well in general. I also have rook f uh, I've got rook f d8. That's, that's, why, that's right. Yeah, so there should be a king h1. That looks like a weird move to me. Somehow that doesn't look right. I'm going to go here. No, that doesn't look right at all. I mean, okay, let's go d5. Let's go here. I've got e6. I have rook d8. I think rook d is correct. Other rook to d8 was probably better, actually. 
Knight f5, that looks like a very strange move. Play e6, I can also just go like here, I guess. There's queen e2. I thought I had queen c5 here. He can't take a check. I mean, he's got h3, obviously. It's going to be hard to win this game. It's going to be very hard. I think I have to take. I can play rook f8, I guess. Just hit the knight. It's not wonderful, but I shouldn't, shouldn't be in, like, really bad shape here. I'm going to go here. It doesn't do anything, though. He just got rookie one. Go here. I'm up on the clock, though. Clock is what matters. I have problems with 960 hardly. Hardly. I mean, the game against Gata was actually frustrating, so I should not have lost that game. The last two games have not been wonderful, though. I will say that. The last two games have not been a wonderful time for me. Who is Moro? This is not Morozevich, though. This is just someone else. I don't know who this is. I think it will Wisp Poo for the eight months. Uh, I have Rook F3. No. Let's go H6 first. Okay, that's a free juicer. I'll take it. We're plus two now. Yeah, this is going downhill for my opponent in a hurry. I don't know what that does exactly. I just go here. He's got no time either, so I actually did miss Rook C7. Kind of unfortunate. Um, Let's think for a second. Okay, I mean, how do I win this game is the question. I'm going to go here and queen, queen F4, I guess. Wait, but this must be losing, no? This has to be losing. Go A2. So let's go here. Okay, let's keep going. Plays B3. I guess I'll play B6. I don't know if it's right, but... I'm getting all these symmetrical openings, which are kind of starting to bother me a little bit. I'm getting too many of these symmetrical games. I mean, like, I'd like something more imbalanced. Every game, it feels like I'm having to play B6, C5, D5, and we're getting some kind of bishop combo on these two diagonals. Let's take... It was e4. Okay, so I drop back, of course. I think e4 is a mistake, so I have this check here. Wait a second. This doesn't look right. I'm going to go... Do I go knight? Yeah, I think I go knight f6 here. If you don't like symmetry, play g6. The problem with playing g6 is that in 960, if you're off, with, if you're, if you're, if you're off bad things happen. Okay, I have bishop a6 check, I guess, to hit the king. Okay, now I, now I must have something, because he can't castle either. Knight d6, e5 is no good. Let's go e6. Maybe I just castle next move. I forgot that he had that move, but I go e5, and it gets kind of weird now. Okay, I think I just take with the bishop or the rook is a question. I guess I just take with the rook and take. Obviously, I'm going to have to castle at some point. We both have to castle. Very sharp. Okay, I think I drop. I can castle and play rook e8, maybe. Yeah, let's just castle and get my king out of the middle of the board here. I think I go here. So I, I have pressure on the knight on e2. 
Small castle? Yes, yeah, small castle. Okay. Okay. Um, I do have something like knight g4. I don't like it. So I think I'm just going to drop. It's a weird, very, very weird position. I'm going to go this way. Maybe knight g4, knight e7 or something. Maybe I had bishop b5 there too. Okay, because knight b8? This is crazy. Um, Here? I'm so confused. Okay, I take and I go here, hit the pawn. No, I've misplayed this, so I'm actually losing here, I think. Yeah, I missed that. I'm losing here if he plays this correctly. There's knight c6. Let's just go here and trade, I guess. D1. I can still play queen h6, I think. Or actually, wait, no, I go h4. Queen h5 tricks. So we take back with the knight. This is not good, but trying oh that's a free pa that's a big mistake that's a big mistake by my opponent that's a very big mistake um i can go check again actually why don't i just go queen h6 or okay everything's winning here let's just go queen h6 your resigns keep going we got the win we're up to 30 points we're just outside the top 10 right now although I think once again top 16 qualifies so it should be fine oh wow I get Nihal geez okay let's go b3 here not a pleasant not a not a happy pairing here I'm gonna go g3 maybe f4 maybe h4 Let's go h4. I don't know if it's good, but maybe I should have played e3 there. Okay, let's go here, I guess. I'm going to play e3, maybe f4. I also have f4 at some point. I mean, I don't know what this, what's going on here exactly. F4 is a move. I can also play bishop f3. I'm going to play a4. I don't know if it's right. Okay, I probably should play h5 to kick the knight out. Let's go f4, knight f2, I guess. Should be slightly better. I don't know how much better, though, in reality. Let's just see. I guess I'll play here. I don't know if this is right. Maybe I think I, I, think I want to develop my bishop, maybe. d4. I mean, very, very complicated. I also don't know which way we're... Am I castling this way or this way? Who's g6? I don't think I actually am concerned. I think I just ignore it. Because now I have bishop c4 also. I think I'm castling to the queen side. It's a very, very weird position. Yeah, that's a good move. Um, which one am I castling? Hmm. I'm gonna go for this. I don't think it's right, but I'm gonna play it anyway. Okay, I have e4 here. I don't really want to go c4. Very, very weird. Okay, let's go here and target the knights. They're a little bit clumsy here, actually. So I mean, like, and he does bishop a6. I should have probably checked first. That would have been a better move. It was king d7, which I'm surprised by. That strikes me as a very strange move. Um, there should be something wrong with that move. I don't know what's wrong with it, but something's got to be wrong. Okay, let's just go for it. Ah, because knight b4, I have c3, actually. And then d4, maybe? Let's just go c3. This is going to get very explosive in a hurry. I don't even know if this is right, but this is going to get very, very explosive. Okay, let's just blast off because default oh 
If I check, I guess I'll just drop back or something. I don't know what's going on here. This is crazy. I think I've misplayed this though. Okay, let's go here. Target the king and the knight. I don't really like my king and my queen. They're my queen needs to be like here or something. Queen on a one's really misplaced. Thank you to prison, prison, prison. Uh, thank you to prison wallet for the six months. Thank you so much, prison wallet. Yes, I did not forget that username either. Um, okay, I think I'm just gonna bring. I'm gonna bring my knight back in because on f5 I want to trade and go knight e5. That's my idea. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you to Matterhorn for the 13 months. You and Chess got me close to my brother. That I, uh, that just my brother that underwent a very difficult period. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's take with the knight here. Okay, now I think I go check, of course. It's a very, very tough position for both of us to play. Like, very, very hard. Just so difficult. I guess I trade. I don't. I don't know if I need to, but it seems right. Maybe like rookie one. Like everything here is relatively okay, except my queen. My queen is just so misplaced. I'm gonna go here. It's a bad move. Yeah, it's a bad move. Should not have played it. And I'm down on time. I just realized. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a blunder, but not really. I guess. the bishop I want to go knight of three okay let's just trade what why am I thinking okay There we go. I got the fork. He missed it. Doesn't mean this is easy to win still. What am I doing? There we go. We got the win. Tough game. Very tough game. Thank you to Coder Kushal for the tier one, the ceremony for the prime, and Eclipse Wolf for the prime. Thank you so much. We got the win up to 34 points. We're just outside the top. Okay. What's he? He's hitting the pawn, so I guess. I could have played C6. Maybe it's, it could have been quite interesting there. Okay, now we get something that's not going to be balanced, it feels like. Yeah, this is going to turn... I, this is actually much more my style. Some kind of King's Indian. Uh, okay, let's go here, I guess. So here I'm going to castle. We're, we're both going to end up castle, but I assume that this is better for me. Okay, take the bishop, keep the diagonal open. If you can't play b4, this should just be bad. Let's go a5, a4, I guess. Instinctively, this feels bad for white somehow. I mean, this looks pleasant for me. Don't know if it's actually better, but it looks very pleasant. Okay, let's go here. Use the double op combo. I think I'm just going to go, like, maybe here, here, and queen, e, queen a8. Yeah, this looks like normal chess. Yeah, definitely. Goes to e4. Okay, so I'll play queen a8. Line up the uh, classic right triangle.
I can play rook a2 if I want. I think I will. Let's go here. Hit the. Po oh, the, is that bad? Wait, no, I have takes. There's a lot of pressure here. They get a gardnering tower for the tier one. Thank you so much. I'm going to go here, target the knight. A lot of pressure here. A lot of pressure. That looks wrong. Wait, do I take? Yeah, this looks very wrong. Because now my pony is jumping. And he can't move the knights and he loses the tower. I think this is game over. Should be game over. I can obviously take, but I think even just knight d4 looks crushing. Oh, there's also... could have taken this pawn. Why did I do this order? I guess I just take and I go here. Collect the rook. Resigns. Keep going. We're up to 38. Climbing the leaderboard again. As I said, top 16. So, um... You could get the, you could get the same starting position. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible that you could. Okay, let's see. What are we doing here? I see nothing under attack. Let's play f4. Okay, d5. I'm going to do something. Why did I do that? that uh, I guess I'll go c3. Um, I can play g3. I don't know if it's right, but I, I kind of want to play in the center of the board. Um, I'll take. Let's bring my knight in. Knight e3 next move. Okay, I'm going to go e4, open it up a little bit. Maybe I should I should have played D4 first though. Yeah, I blundered this kind of. Not really, I guess. I can still move my king up. Takes. Interesting. I'll just take this way. Let's see. What do I want to do here? I guess is the question. I think I'm just gonna develop. He'll probably throw in a check. But he can't really castle. Oh, he's going to go kingside. That's why. Oh, I missed that idea. Shoot. Okay, in that case, I'm going to have to try to be very aggressive here. Like, somehow. This looks very, very poor. I'm going to castle kingside too in a second. I'm go here, maybe bishop a2. Open up this diagonal as well. Goes bishop c8, so he wants knight g5. I'll just drop back. Okay, I have h4. I also have just king g2. Looks safe enough. And I'm going to go h4, remove the knight next move as well. So I think this should be okay for me. Knight f7, so I can take, I can also play like just bishop c2. I can also go knight d5. Bishop c2 seems like the right move, though. Tricky position. Very, very tricky. Okay, I'm going to go here to target the knight. I mean, maybe I have h5, h6 at the right moment as well here. Yeah, I'm going to go h5, h6 now. Just to open up this diagonal. He takes, and I go, like, D5 or E5. Obviously, I take. Feels like I should be winning here somehow. Um, Don't have Knight G4. I do have E5 here. Five takes, takes. Yeah, I think this wins. Let's just take. I think I just take and go 94. Yeah, this should, this should be winning. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I think I think this is winning.
Okay, he does go King G8. So I take and I go here. And the point is, if he moves the bishop, he gets fossilized, basically. So I don't know how he can save the bishop either, though. I think this is game over. Okay, so let's just take. Still nothing he can do, so this is just game over. Oh, did he find some trick here? He found some funky trick. Okay, but I'm going to go here and just end the game. Or did I? No, I actually blundered. <laughs> Maybe. Not, not, not really, but... Take and now let's go here. Oh, that's game over. Okay, let's keep going. I bet the bank needs a win here. Will he carve what 55 plus points with 30 minutes left? Um, okay, let's go here. I guess just knight six. This looks like a more favorable, um, more, more imbalanced position. Let's go here. This actually looks, I'm quite happy with this position, I think. Or am I? No, actually, I'm not happy with this. Because I can't really, um, not actually thrilled. Okay, he goes there, which I'm actually much happier to see. I'm just going to attack then. Oh, well, now I'm very happy. Now I should just be winning. Maybe winning's too strong a word to use, but I should just be very pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with what I've gotten. Because now I can just go g6, f5. Okay, what's the threat? Knight g5, I guess? It's got knight g5. h6, knight g6. I don't even know if this is necessary. I don't know if this is necessary, but I'm going to play it anyway. Oh, I could have gone f5, knight c7 too, which I just realized. So just take. I guess I'll play like here. Force the force pieces off. And I mean, I don't love my position, but I think I'm okay. Play like. Okay, I've got to go g6 at some point. I have to open up this diagonal sooner or later. <sighs> Not actually thrilled by this, though. So I'll go here to hit the knight. Let's go here. I think I'm going to play here. Maybe knight. Oh, there was e2 that was hanging also. Let's go here. I'm going to go here, maybe. Target the pawn at f4. Knight e5, I just trade. I assume this doesn't work. Maybe I'm missing a fossil, but I don't see it. There are no fossils with the knight. Everything's covered. Everything's covered. So he doesn't have a fossil, so he's just losing. Just go here and force some pieces off the board. Okay, we're gonna win this game also, so we're we're in very good shape now. Um, and I think I just take and go g5 and just collect here. Yeah, this game over. Okay, let's take take the knight. Yeah, this is just winning. It was 93. That doesn't really do anything. I mean, I can obviously take. I can actually just go h5 even. I 
guess I'll just go here and take and game over. Oh, we moved. Okay, let's take and let's just take. Not real sure why he's not resigning, but but so be it. Okay, there we go. We got the win. Up to 46. We're climbing the leaderboard. So I need to win three games in the next 19 minutes, basically, to get to... Uh, to get to 55 plus. That's what I need. I need to win three more. I'm going to move quickly in this one. Okay, he's 1900. This one I want to win fast. I want to win this game quickly. If I can. I don't know why I did that. This is nothing. I'm trying to win this game as fast as I can, though. Remember the ratings are inaccurate? Oh, yeah, this guy might not be 960. You're right. Uh, he's 22.27. Okay. You're right, actually. You're right. Not 1,900. You're right. That's a good point. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's inaccurate. It's not crazy inaccurate. But, yeah, imagine if he was, like, 2,700. I'm just playing these loosey-goosey moves. He, he is very slow, however. C4, Knight C2, of course. Thank you to Matt Sta for the prime thing. Search to Matt Sta. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's just go and attack here on the queen side. I'm obviously going to castle at some point. It's just a question of when. Let's just keep going. Uh, I'm not sure. I think anyone can qualify, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go here. I'm going to go B5 or A5 or something. Thank you to Larry Nakata for the eight months. It's only streamers, though. That's the thing. It's not title players. Only streamers can make it in. Let's go here. Oh, I actually, I should not have done that. I should have taken first, but whatever. I'll take with the, um, I'll take with the knight. I don't know. It's probably wrong, actually. Like, very wrong. What am I even doing? I don't know why I did that. But he's 1900, so it shouldn't be a big deal. It's a good move. Or no, it's a bad move. That hangs material. Yeah, I really just want to win this game quickly. Against a 1900 especially, not winning this would be kind of frustrating. Uh, he just takes. Okay, I'll take. Just take. One square away from queening now, so this is over. Thank you to Midas Wash Washer for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, everything wins here. Um, let's just take. Let's keep going. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I'm waiting a long time for a game here. Oh, I saw it. Shucks. Let's go A5, A4, I guess. I'm going to go here and take the pawn, maybe. Okay, one. I can play G6 here. I'm going to go... Don't want to play Rook 8, but I think I have to. We're t I, we need to win two more games. Uh, how good... Actually, I should probably hover over the rating. 2252. Okay. Okay. Just good to note. Um, go here. The thing is, his pawn's under attack. So he can't actually play here because he loses that pawn. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. I don't know if it's right, but it seems reasonable. Thank you to Seamus Extremist for the tier one. Thank you so, so much to Seamus. Let's trade. Um, let's not castle. Let's go here. Let's bring the queens in now. I mean, is he gonna castle here? Is a question. Also, he is okay. Problem though is I have e5 and I get the open file here on the f file. Just let's blast away here. I can play Rook E8. I can also just take. I'm just gonna take. Does anyone else hate the Hafu ad? I haven't actually seen the Hafu ad. Is is there a Hafu ad? Uh, let's just go here and hit the Rook. Let's go here and hit the Rook. Yeah, I haven't seen the ad, so I have, I have no idea what you guys are referring to. It's fine, just a little awkward. Okay. Um, C4 just hangs a pawn here, here and a rook and everything else. Okay. No, every game starting position is different, you guys. And we're up to 54. We're climbing the leaderboard. A couple more. One more win and we win the bet. That's the first thing. One more win and we win the bet. Okay, let's just go... Play e4. I don't know if it's right. Seems reasonable. Might be a mis might be actually be a blunder. <laughs> I guess not. I thought it was a blunder, so I'm gonna go for this. Let's see. Okay, take. So let's go check. Let's pre move it because it's a safe pre move. I think he's just lost actually. Unless I'm crazy. How does he protect the two? Ju he's got this. I mean, maybe that hangs on for a move or two, but it looks like it's lost. Yeah, it does it, so I take. Of course, I go f4 here. I mean, I guess I could have just taken the pawn. Why did I just take the pawn? Try too hard to win the game on the spot. Although, I think this is actually winning on the spot. Just f5, and I just collect the knight. Actually, you know what? Let's just go here. Let's just keep it simple. No need to get too creative. Yeah, now I just take and I collect the knight in the corner. This is just GG's. I mean, everything wins here. I, I'm just going to go here and collect. His knight is just boxed. It's just neatly gift wrapped in the corner for my bishop. This is not an arena, you guys. This is Arena Kings. So there's a $500 first prize uh, for this event. So a lot of money on the line. Yeah, it's just gift wrapped. Gift wrapped. Yeah, I mean, brutal. Okay, so there are your free channel points, you guys. We're in the lead. A couple more wins, and then we can probably coast. <gasps> Wait, we had this in the arena! Wait, we had this in the arena, you guys. We had this one in the arena. <laughs> Trading spaces. But in this one, can we castle is the question. In this one, you can probably castle though, right? I need the I need the fence with castling allowed from 960 for this one. 
Uh, let's go here. I mean, the real question is, can I can can either of us castle? I think we can, right? I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go here. Okay, let's go. I mean, you can check, but then I go ninety seven. Bishop B3. I think I'm just going to... I don't really want a castle, so... I think I'm just going to go here. The, o the odds are 1 in 960. Yeah, I mean, of course that's what the odds are, yeah. Not exactly rock science. Okay, but now he's going to start... It's going to start to get very dangerous here. Because the knight's coming to F4. The queen's coming to G6. He goes D4, which is a good move. Only move, actually, where white doesn't end up in a lot of trouble here. But still, this looks very dangerous. Yeah, this, the thing is, when we did the arena earlier, it's not possible to castle because of the fan issues. But let's go here. Rook v one I mean, this looks so scary for white. First of all, I have rook c4. Which I think is very strong. Or not. Let's go here. Because 92, I have rook e4. Yeah, now it's just GG's. We're going to win another game pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. We're up to 62 points. Bass Pro Shop music? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's play C4 here. Okay, he hangs a pawn on h7. I can take the pawn, but I actually don't think it's good. I don't believe him, though. Let's take it. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't believe him. Hopefully, I'm not insane. I don't just get smoked in this game. Because I don't believe him. I think he blundered the pawn. Okay, I got to develop some stuff here. I have knight g5 maybe as well next move because now I open up the diagonal. Knight b3. Okay, let's just go a3. Rook a5 is a very strange move. I think I'll just go here. Again, my knight guards the pawn. Let's go here. Target the juicer. So I'll go here and just take with the bishop and bishop f4 maybe. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I might just castle my king all the way over to the other side. If the opportunity presents itself, I'd probably just castle my king all the way over. Okay, I can also... Yeah, I think actually... Yeah, I'm just going to castle. I'm going to go the other way completely. Oh, he goes g4. I was not expecting that. Oh, that might... Oh, he's got rook c5. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see rook c5. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, I'm lucky. I didn't even see that. Wow. Maybe just Tizzy for the 13. Thank you so much, just Tizzy. I'm lucky. I didn't even see Rook C5. He misses it completely. Um, let's go here. So bad. Okay, let's go here. I have D4 ideas as well. Let's take... I guess let's play e3, consolidate. He was 96. I think he actually he missed that he could take this uh, pawn on h2 for some reason. But yeah. No, rook c5, bishop c3, I'm still okay, but I'm very lucky because I didn't even see the move. Okay, rook h8, let's go f3. I just take... Let's go here and take. Why not? Isn't this a free pawn or am I insane? It looks like a free pawn to me. Okay, now he's just down like 20 pawns. 
Although E4 is not a very good move either. Let's go uh, here, maybe guard everything. Uh, let's just start pushing. We've got the Great Wall of China here on the fourth rank. I'm going to go uh, here to guard everything. Some move. Okay, I'm just going to go D5, open this up a little bit. Try to get my Rooks active here. Should be pretty cleanly winning. Queen F3. Okay, but this must be winning. Check in here. 2 equals 20, yes. Let's take and take and take everything all over here. Actually, why did I do this? Kind of stupid. Still winning, but... Start running the pawn. Let's go here. Stop the pawn. I have a6. Yeah, we got the win. We keep going. Yeah, I think we need we need three more wins, and then we're guaranteed to be in. Three more, and then and then then we're in the then we're in with the proverbial garbage time. So I would say three more. Okay, let's go G3. Yeah, three more wins. Let's go here. Uh, I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to play this. Okay, so I guess I'll just go Knight C3 here. I could have gone Bishop C3 also. F5. Okay, let's, let's bring, bring the knights in, slowly but surely. G4 is also kind of interesting. I'm going to cut off this this weird check. Let's go here, target this. I have knight d5. Stockfish doesn't think that last game was a win. Really? Okay, now I can castle. I can also just... Oh, wait, do I? No, I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to castle. I'm not worried. Because Bishop C5 allows B4, and Black's kind of lacking here in, in development on the king side anyway. Let's just go right after the bishop. Let's go here. And B5 was also a move there, I suppose. Let's take with a bishop. Okay, she castles. It's a logical move. I'm going to put the bishop. I also have just a b5 here, I think. Because I can just take and take the pawn. Okay, let's see. Okay, bishop a5 is a move. I don't love it. I'm just going to go here and target the pawn, maybe. Play like e4. Well, first of all, c6 allows me the opportunity to trade, and I will trade. Um, black has to take away from the center, which is very pleasant for me. So I go here, double stack. G7. That's not a great move. So I'm going to go... Actually, knight before is even stupider. Okay, she takes. Very bad move. And now, now the diagonal is going to crush long term. Not sure how I'm going to win this exactly, but this bishop is going to crush on the diagonal in the long run. This is a very, very, very bad positional decision. I can play C5 here. I think I'm just going to go A4, A5. Thank you to Kuko Lala for the four months. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I just go back. A5 next move. Really problematic. Yeah, it looks normal. Will I play United States chess again? I will play over the board chess again. Yes. It's going to go here, collect the pawn. I mean, she has here Rook C7, but I just take on A5, and it's already very much going the wrong direction. take f4 
48 seconds and counting. Very, very hard. Black has two weaknesses. Black also has a dubious knight versus a good bishop. So it's kind of it's just, just winning. It's just a matter of finessing the victory. Let's go rook b8 here. Win the whole thing in October, we believe in you. Oh, I'll do my best. Yeah, it should be in October. I'm not sure when exactly, but the U.S. Championship will be in October. Okay, we're up a pawn. I mean, every, everything is just winning here. It's just a question of what the cleanest way to win is. This seems like the cleanest way. I mean, just check queen e6, queen e5. I mean, everything is just winning. Okay, check, take the rook. There we go, next game. Okay, we're going to play Danya. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to go f4. Seems like a logical move. I don't know if it's the best move, but can I do something weird here like c4? I'm sure I can. Maybe I should have played... C I think c4 is a better move on move one, objectively. I think it was. Just an in instinctively, I know it was the right move, which is very frustrating. I know C... It's very weird, but I know C4 is the right first move. Now I'm going to do something weird. I'm just going to try to play a little bit funky. Let's play some funky chess. That's actually a blunder. Oh, but he can just castle. Wait, no, he can't castle. No, he can't castle. He has to move the queen first. Actually, this is very weird. I can take and check or something. This is very, very weird. Because knight a8. Wait, that looks... Isn't there just a free... Wait, then he has bishop d4. Wait, this is very, very weird. <sighs> this is a very weird position. Literally, yeah, this is such a weird position. I don't even know what's going on. guess I'm going to go... I can also take... This is too weird. I, I almost like, yeah, I'm, I'm like losing my mind. I can't, I can't tell what's going on here. It's so weird. Yeah. He does have this, which for some reason I didn't see. Or didn't see or just, yeah, I, such a weird position. Okay, that, however, allows me to do this. Oh, but he can still take a pawn, which I didn't even see. But I have d4, d5, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I misplayed this quite severely. Um, I guess I'll just go d4, queen c3. I think I was better here somewhere. Weird game, though. Okay, let's just go. Um, yeah, he's got knight b6. I can take, obviously, and draw, maybe. Draw maybe is too optimistic, but I shouldn't really be worse. Go e4 and break the center. Gonna castle. Probably I can draw this, but he is up a pawn, so to win this game is gonna be kind of tricky. I think T boils for the five months. Oh, is there is there something betting? Is there some kind of a is there some kind of prediction? It's e6. Okay, I mean, obviously I castle. I don't know if I like e6. E6 feels a little bit dubious. Maybe dubious is wrong, or it just doesn't feel quite precise somehow. Let's go here, maybe. Arrow key eight. Now, obviously, drop the bishop back. I don't really want to. But I, already, I think I've gone wrong again. I've already misplayed this. this. Actually, wait. Have I? Wait, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Wait. I have d5 or rook e6. Yeah. Which one's better? D5, I think, is better objectively. D5, D8 takes rookie seven. Nah, this is probably the much. I, 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 don't, I don't even need to win this game. I just need to be stable. That's all I need to do. Just stabilize and, and not mess it up, and it should be all good. So, I, again, I'm also a little bit low on time. So, it's better to play the safe route than the very messy, complicated D5 line. That probably is good, but very hard to calculate to the end. Place rookie eight. Okay, let's go c3. Okay, this, this is obviously just a draw. Although, he does give me d5. Okay, let's maybe bring the king up. It's 
gonna go a5. Uh, goes knight a5. That's a weird move. Wait, I can go here. Strange move by Daniel. It doesn't mean it's bad, but just strange. So here. It's kind of misplayed this a little bit. Although it's still, again, it's probably nothing special for either side. Oh, that I missed, actually. That was bad. Although, was it bad? Maybe it wasn't, because I have G4, F5. I also have no time, I just realized. It's a good move. I have no time. I'm just too, I've got no time. Yeah, I blunder this. Yeah. Okay. I was down on the clock this whole game, though. Yeah, I, I blunder this. Yeah, I blunder that. I threw that game. I threw that. I shouldn't have lost, but I didn't force a draw when I had to force it. You know where I had to force it was three moves earlier. It's not a big deal, but I should have forced the draw. I, I kind of threw that one, trying too hard to win. He played well. He played well to defend that, but I, I did throw that one. If, if I had been a little bit faster, like if I used five seconds left to play rookie six, bishop d5, uh, the game's a draw. But because I used those extra five seconds calculating that whole long line with d5 and not d5, it cost me the game. Fortunately, it doesn't matter since we're so deep in the arena, but... Still, yeah. I played... Uh, yeah, but see, I mean, that's that's also the thing. That's one of the differences between classical chess and rapid chess and blitz chess is that in, like, rapid and blitz, those split-second decisions... Uh, it's a big deal for your channel points. The split-second decisions, like, in a classical game, I could have thought for a minute... I, not even a minute. I could have thought for, like, five or ten minutes in that position to see if I can play D5 or Rook takes E6. But in a Blitz game, if you spend the wrong amount of time or you spend too much time and it goes wrong, then it costs you the game. Because if I have five seconds more, uh, then I would have won that game. Or not won that game, sorry. I would have drawn that game. So, you know, it happens. But mm. the only reason that's frustrating is because that probably means that Dan is actually going to qualify. That's why that's that's why it's that's why it's not good. Cause now he's gonna be in the top sixteen. If I win that game, pro well, okay. To be fair, who knows what the who qualifies or doesn't? But probably he's not. Frustrating. Let's take a ninety six. But he's better than me, dude. I mean, come on. One game suddenly makes someone better. Yes, I love I love your rationale. I let him castle. Okay, it doesn't matter. I have knight d4. Let's go here, knight d4. <laughs> One game makes someone better than someone else. Another world we live in. Okay. Let's go here, take a knight c3. Should be good. But yeah. Yeah. It's going to knight c3. I can take. Oops. GG. Okay. We're going to win this one. Get to 72 at least. Is there is there a first place um, is there a first place uh, bet or not? Um, hmm. I don't even know if this is. It's going to work out, but that was also kind of weird. This castle go king h8. Thank you to Oriel for the six months. Thank you to McCool for the four. Let's 
So let's go check, work here. Ten thousand on me to win. I'm pretty sure there are no bets allowed, you guys. Let's go here and takes. Let's take, take, and check. Okay, we got the win. Quick win. But actually, Daniel's in a tough spot because he probably still has to win this game. Just he's gonna have to win this game to get in. Actually, what's happening in their game? Is he beating Hans or not? On uh, fan duel, I doubt it. Okay. Um, oh, this is David Navarro, by the way. Very strong chess player. Because if Dania doesn't win against Hans, who's winning? Looks like a draw. Okay. Can play G6 next move. Oh, this isn't a bishop. The bishop's on D8. What am I doing? Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, of course, like, what am I doing? Let's go here. He's trying to get cheeky. And again, it's not against the 1900 that I do this. It's against Navarra. So this is gonna actually going to be quite a challenge now. I have to be very, very careful how I play this. I might lose this game. I mean, he is a very strong chess player. I have to face Hans and beat him. Well, number one doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just curious if Daniel's going to win or not. Because if Daniel loses... Daniel's losing. If Daniel loses, I don't think he qualifies. That's that's the only thing that I, really I was interested in, is whether, whether Daniel will find a way to win or not. Oh. What am I doing? Go here. Play f5 next move. Knight a4. They have duck boats for the ninth. They have Santi MC for the prime. That's not really a free pawn. I think I'm going to go. Uh, my bishop is on the wrong square. My bishop it was could go to this diagonal. It would be okay. But uh, this is disgusting. Okay. I guess I'll go maybe just here. Problem is, I also I can't castle here. That's the other problem I have in this position, is that I can't castle. So there's probably some tactic here with c5. Hans won the game, so Dan is actually very likely not going to qualify after that loss. I'm also getting absolutely wrecked in this game. I think I'm losing. Yeah, he sees that. That's a good move. Okay, how do I swindle this? Can I swindle this or not is the question. Um, let's go here. I'm going to have to try to swindle him. I'm up on the clock at least, which matters somewhat. But I'm. Uh, this game has not been a pretty game. This is a pretty terrible game. That one mistake actually really cost me. Thinking that king was a bishop... Yeah, I just got to go for it and hope. I mean, he kind of blundered. Bishop e5 was not the best move there. Blundering being is too strong a word to use, but... He takes. Interesting. Let's go here. Oh, I could have taken the bishop. Oh, my God. Why did I... Oh, my gosh. Why did I just take that bishop? What am I doing? Okay, I guess I go uh, here. What am I doing? I'm supposed to just take. Okay, somehow I'm gonna draw this game. Do I give him a draw or not is a question. 
Now I'm in a situation where I can I can like ruin his not ruin I can ruin his chances or be nice and give him a draw. And this is Navara, so yeah, I'm gonna be nice. I'm, I'm okay. I, it's not right. I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice. I'm just gonna offer a draw. Yeah, it's not the time. It's not the time, especially with with top sixteen guaranteed. It's not right. Although probably actually I just ruined the bet for you guys. Did I just ruin the bet? I might have ruined the bet. Is there a first place bet there that I ruined? Yes. Oh, I ruined it. I'm sorry. Okay. I just paid off the doubters. Okay. I didn't realize there's a first place bet. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, let's go here. Um, I guess I'll play like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go here. Knight C7 maybe. Let's go here. Yeah, I, I, sorry, guys. I, I didn't realize there was a bet. Or I would have tried to flag him. Never gets old to me how stupid channel points are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Bishop F8 and Queen D8. Yeah. Just drop back. Okay, let's go, uh, I guess I'll go here on queen d7, maybe d4. Let's go g6, remove the knight. Yeah, I, I, I didn't realize there was a bet. If there was a bet, I mean, but actually I still don't know if it would be right to try and flag him there. Like, I still think it's wrong to try and flag him. Like, it still doesn't feel right. It, it still doesn't feel right at all. Um, let's go here, remove this knight. I think I take... Oh, wait. I thought I was... I just missed... I looked at the board wrong. I thought I was winning something here. I just looked at the board wrong. It's not wrong to flag people. Oh, Han's lost. So I guess theoretically I could catch him. Let's go here. Maybe H4. Maybe Queen A6. Go here. I should have gone knight g5. Why did I do this? I want to go h3. I want to go knight f4. I'm trying to trick him here. I'm trying hard to trick him, basically, with this. Because, oh my gosh, I just blundered knight g4. Jeez, what was that? Oh, man. Starting to slide here at the end of this arena. I can feel it. Luckily, I mean, I'll be able to reset, but I'm definitely starting to slide here. I can already tell. Let's go check. He blocks. Which actually I think is wrong. Um, let's take with a pawn. A four again, maybe? Trying to create something here. Yeah, Hans through. I mean, okay. Let's take. If I check, I have bishop c4 also. d4 seems like... Um, okay, let's go check. Okay, I think I can go... I'm going to go here and maybe bishop e3. Okay, he's trying to prevent that. Actually, bishop e3 might work, but I'm not going to play. I'm just going to go here. Oh, no, I blunder queen e4.
I'm gonna try to flag him. There's a bet on the line. I gotta go for it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, right when I had it drawn. Or one, rather. Yeah, not meant to be. I'm getting tired. Ugh. I would have won that if I don't go king f2. Uh, it's, I guess I'll, I just have to reset before the uh, before the tiebreaker. Getting a little bit tired here at the end. Uh, let's go here. Hit the pawn on a2. Let's play a5. I take a breath. Well, I don't really need to because it's top 16 qualify. It's just, I mean, it's just definitely frustrating. Let's go here. Actually, did I have this position as Danya? No, I had something similar. Maybe the king and the king and rook and knight were swapped, but something very similar. But it's just frustrating to slip here at the end of the arena. I mean, obviously, I'm top 16, but just to slip. Just take a long break. Yeah, I mean, I could obviously just step step away. But the thing is, I think it's better to play it out and try to finish second because you never know. If I just take a break right now, maybe someone passes me or something. I mean, who knows, really? Okay, I don't know what this does exactly. I'll just go, um, let's go here. And then if someone passes you, then, like, you might get an unpleasant pairing. That's kind of the thing. Like, you might get a really unpleasant pairing, potentially. I should start the Gotham meme of slapping myself. Oh, does Levy do that? I actually don't, I, I'm unfamiliar with that, but let's go here and take. Um, uh, what am I doing? Uh, what am I, I guess I'll go here in 87 maybe. Um, I think I'm going to go here in G6 maybe. Yeah, I saw that, but I go here and rook a. Okay, takes. I can obviously just take and go king c8. Should be fine. Should be winning. I want to try to win three games in the next ten minutes, basically. At least give at least give the believers a, a, a hope, a prayer, and a hope. Um, let's go. Oh, actually, I missed I missed this too. Like, what am I even doing? Go here. Oh, that's a free pawn. Might not be a free pawn, actually. Yeah, he's got bishop f3. This is kind of a big problem. Or maybe not really. I don't know. Let's go here. Because I'm still hitting a2 at the end of the day. My bishop has not even... My pawn. My bishop is actually just dead on h8. Playing without a bishop here. Today will be a record-breaking launch stream. It's not going to be 26 hours, no. Wait, isn't this just losing? Maybe he missed that. Okay. Let's keep going. Two games to go. Where's Daniel in all this? Daniel's way... I don't think Daniel's going to qualify. He's um, he's quite far out. He might still qualify. Who knows? Where is he even? He's like 41. Hard to believe that... Hard to believe there aren't 16 players out of those 41 that are streaming. What am I doing? This is not regular chess. Okay, he does this, which he didn't need to do. I think I'm just... This is actually going to become very regular in a second. Like, very regular. Maybe not, though. Maybe maybe not so clear. I 
Let's see. Okay, B6. I just castle. Can I always go queen a3? I think a4, a5 makes a lot of sense here. Isn't this just a pawn? I think he just blundered a pawn. At this point, though, I think everybody's a little bit tired, too. <sighs> let's go... Um, let's go maybe queen here and queen c3. I think I'll just play here. Maybe queen c3 next move. I think I can just play like knight d3, move the queen. Although I gave him f6, of course. Uh, very poor. Mm, very poor, but I'm still I'm still up a pawn. A pawn is always a pawn in the in the world of chess. Go knight c5. I'm just gonna go here, maybe take with e pawn, maybe knight f4. Oh, but now he gives me knight c5, which I think I should be very happy with, because now my knight gets. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're all kind of slipping. Okay, let's go. So if Hans loses his next game, maybe I can catch him. Hans loses, I have a chance to catch him. Who's he playing against? He's playing Canty, though, and he's completely winning. So, yeah, I can't catch him. Okay, let's go F4 here. I'm going to play Meyer. Let's go here. Wait, can't I go here? Because, wait, isn't that a free pawn? I feel like everyone's just tired at this point. If you're qualified, you're qualified. So I think everyone's kind of. I guess, like, theoretically, if I win this game fast, maybe I have a chance. Let's go here. Maybe knight d4. Maybe knight g5. I'm going to just do it in e4. It might not be good, but again, there's not a lot of time left in this event, so might as well go for it. Do I take on here, or do I take? I'm just going to take. I think I have D4 and D5 and EF6 even, but let's go. Yeah, let's just go D4. Okay, let's go again. I have a chance. We're A3. I guess if I win one more, is it a tie? Let's go. Let's go. Next game. Come on. Start the next game. Let's go. Come on. Next game. Where's my next game? I'm losing. I'm bleeding time. I just got to get this game going. If we both win, I think I think I catch him. It's gonna be very hard to not blunder though. But I, I have plenty of time actually. I'm trying to move quickly. I'm trying to move really, really fast here, you guys. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Let's go here, support the knight. Gonna castle. He sees it. That's a problem. Trying to move quick though. Trying to move and give you guys a, a, a slim, slimmer of hope, or a glimmer of hope. I should say, not a slimmer of hope. A sliver of hope. I should say, not slimmer. Sliver. Oh, he gives me. He gives. He gives me a blunder here. What's it? It's one. There's like a one minute differential, right? Queen e3, bishop f2. There's. A... Oh, wait, Hans? Oh, the third one is four in a row? Oh, the third one is four in a row. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's two, three, four. No, I had the numbers wrong. I thought he only got three, so I could catch him. Yeah, I thought I could catch him. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... What's that? Okay, we get the win. I need a poker chest for the 21 months. Oh, 
Bounce is trade. I'm trying for you guys, the uh, the believers. Let's go, let's go. It's a good move. Question is, is Hans going to win or not? Hans is probably not going to win. Unless the game... I don't know, Roberto maybe needs to win. Yeah. It's fine. I'm not going to get the game. Let's just watch Hans' this game. Let's watch Hans' this game. Hans is... Hans is winning, but there's not much time left. Roberto's just going to time out here, right? Yeah. Roberto's going to time out. I'll close the game. Yeah. There's. I can't win. I can't win. I'm not... Offer a draw? Okay. There, I offered a draw. Yeah, okay, I get the draw. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch Hans's game. Let's watch this game. Let's see. Roberto is just tanking. Roberto is just going to time out here. He's going to time out here. <laughs> he offers Hans a draw. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> he thinks for 50 seconds once he can run the timeout, and then he offers Hans a draw. That is so nasty. That is so nasty when he can just sit there and time it out. Like it's he if he did it at the start, that would that would be kind of normal. But to sit there for forty seconds and then offer the draw is really dirty, really dirty. That's really really dirty <laughs> by Roberto. Oh, that is so dirty. Blitzstream did the same thing to Jospin, but 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 they were both qualified, right? Yeah. Anyway, the doubters uh, the doubters lose. The believers the believers win. Thank you for the gifted sub to Sagey Mage as well. So, um, all right, you guys. So I'm going to take a short break, and we're going to come back, and I think there's going to be a knockout portion, um, and we'll sort it all out. So I'll be right back, you guys.